Hello YouTube, I've just watched the other video, had a panic attack thinking, oh the audio didn't record, oh no I have to do it again, how can I redo that? Uh, no, but it's not true. I'm actually going to put my timer on, I'll set the timer, because I've got the timer set for 9 minutes, so I know what my YouTube time is. Okay, here we go. Wally, baby boy. Oh, I mean look at that head! Look at that head! Look at that head! That is a head! That's a head! <laughs> that is a character head! Yeah? This dog was a amazing Labrador. Loved to swim. Yeah? Loved to swim. When he came to live with us, when he finally got in that car and he came to live with us in Barry, he loved to swim. Oh, Labradors are from the Isle of Labrador. And people who know things about dogs know that the breeds are generated for certain reasons. And whichever characteristics that the dog is good for is what goes into the breed. So, you know, they basically bring out the best of the dogs. And, uh, you know, breeding <laughs> has its upsides because you get the dog you want. It has its downsides too because of congenital defects that some breeders don't get rid of, which is nasty. But we all know those things. I'm not going to go into them now. But here's the story. Right. A lot of you may not have known this. Yeah. A lot of you may not know this, but I will tell you now. Okay. I'm actually adopted. Okay. I'm an adopted child. Okay. Wow. This is a news story for you. Yeah. Yeah. I said I was going to be. I said I was going to tell you some secrets, YouTube. And now you've got some secrets. Okay. I'm adopted. I don't know who my real parents were because I was adopted at birth. My name was changed and I was handed over and given to somebody else. Now then, ha 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 this is where it gets interesting. <laughs> I lived my life quite happily up till a certain point where I was a little, little kitty playing on my own on some tumps some sort of like little mining tumps on a sledge and the sledge you know was basically a piece of cardboard <laughs> because in Wales you know we, we couldn't afford things like that and kids are quite inventive and they know that bits of cardboard will fly down the grass hill quite well we used to fly down the grass hill quite well but in the snow in the snow you know a piece of cardboard and, and, and sledges and stuff, you know, I was like, okay, let's go up there and let's, let's have a play around, you know, it's like, so let's get that system cardboard and sledge my way down the hill, you know, so I was up there with my bit of cardboard playing around, sledging it down the hill on the snow and having fun, you know, as I usually did uh, at that age, and I was only maybe, I don't know, seven or eight, maybe, I don't know, I can't remember what age I was, I was quite young, but it was like seven or eight, and uh, all of a sudden two dogs appeared. Two dogs. I don't know where. Bang. Just two dogs. And they came, one of them came up to me. And I went, hello, boy. Hello. Like that. And I reached my hand out to say hello. And woof. He locked onto my arm. And then woof. The other one ran up and locked onto my other arm. And, and I'm like, whoa. And next thing you know, I'm being pulled. Hang on. I'll, I'll move the camera down so you can kind of see the actions here. I'm being pulled. Pulled. And, ah. Ah, and it's like these dogs are like attacking me and they're like ripping and pulling and pulling and it's like but they're not getting through they didn't get through to the skin they didn't get through to blood and bone why because hmm, my mum had insisted that i wear a really unfashionable thing called a duffel coat which is really thick material it's, it's really thick yeah and it's like yeah it's really thick but she thought they were fashionable. No, 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 no. Everyone else was wearing uh, snorkels, which I wanted. I wanted a snorkel when I was a kid. I wanted a snorkel, but I wasn't allowed to have a snorkel because mum said, no, snorkels are for the, the riffraff, and we've got, we're going to buy you a double coat because we're better. Oh, right, okay, mum. So anyway, I was like the school prick, yeah, with my duffel coat on, everybody's going like, oh, <laughs> Nice cart, <laughs> you know, and they're all up there with their cool duffel, their, 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 their cool snorkels, really warm and like, you know, cool snorkels. I wanted a cool snorkel like everyone else. Anyway, 
the the funny side of it is, right, Mum, having bought me the duffel coat, saved my life. <laughs> because if I'd been wearing a snorkel, which is made out of nylon, and has just basic foam in it, yeah, those teeth from those dogs, when they attached themselves onto my arm, would have gone straight through the foam, straight into my arm, and they would have ripped me, and they'd have been pulling me, pulling me off, yeah? They would have been able to tear. But you know what? Mum's duffel coat <laughs> saved my life. Mum's duffel coat saved my life. That unfashionable thing that I hated and, you know, despised because I was getting the piss taken out of me in school, uh, wearing it when everybody else was wearing the fashionable snorkels, yeah? You know what kids are like? You know how it works? Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, right, okay. That, that's, that's what happened. So, so, basically. I just move around a second. I wish I could continue the tale. Right. Anyway, I'm being ripped by these dogs. Now, this is serious shit, yeah? This is serious shit. Okay? These dogs had me for 20 minutes, yeah? I couldn't... I was screaming, but their houses were too far away for me to be seen or heard, yeah? People were in those houses watching television. And I was so frustrated because these dogs were not actually able to hurt me but they were physically draining me by dragging me around. They couldn't actually bite into me, but they were maneuvering me and pulling me. And they were pulling me closer to the river and further away from the houses. So they were actually taking me away from the houses. They were trying to drag me away, trying to pull me away. And anyway, I, I said, please, I asked a prayer. I said, please, please help me. Please, God, help me, please. Yeah? In those situations when you, when you think your life is going to end, you, you do. You ask for a prayer. You make a prayer. And sometimes your prayers are answered. And this is my prayer answer. A snowplow. A snowplow came down the road. Which is a very, it's a very remote area, this place we're talking about here. But a snowplow came down this road. And the chances of that happening... Is, is superb. He came down the road and I was, I'd lost all my energy by this point because I'd been fighting with these dogs for 20 minutes and still hadn't got anywhere. I'd, I had no energy. The last bit of energy I had, the last bit of energy I could see the snow piles up. I hope they can see me. I hope they can see me. And I waved and the snow plow seemed to slow down and suddenly the door opened and a man ran out and he was running toward me. He's, he see me. Oh my God, he see me. He see me. He see me. He see me. And the dogs started attacking him. These dogs were mad. These dogs were crazy. Yeah? They attacked the man. They were attacking me. Yeah? He said, he said, son, get in the cab. Get in the cab. And he basically took the dogs, attacking him and kicking them and fighting them. And I got into the cab of the snowplow, right, and these dogs were kicking, and, and then he, he pulled the snowplow, off the snowplow, yeah, it's like, here we are, look, Matthew in his, my stuff, uh, in his thermals, he pulled, a, he pulled a sledge from the snowplow, and he whacked the dogs over the head, yeah, and he took me back to my grand's, and my gran lives in Cardiff Street, and... She had nursed the driver, the snowplow guy, she had nursed him back to health when he was in hospital. He was dying. And my grand's careful attention and loving kindness nursed this man back to health. And isn't it strange that somebody she brought back from the brink of death, yes, suddenly brings her grandson back from the brink of death. <laughs> what goes around comes around, yeah? Karma, prayers, coincidence, bullshit. I tell you what, it was a very formative, a very, very formative experience in my life. And it taught me I wanted to know more about dogs. And that's where Wally comes in. Wally, and my fascination with dogs, has been something to understand. So I'll talk about this more in the future.